Right, how does it feel to re-sign? Yeah, awesome. I'm absolutely pumped to um, sort of get out of the way and get it before the season starts. So, absolutely pumped to sign another five years. You know, I've loved the club, so I love everything they've done for me. So, five yeah. years is a long time, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I think I've, I've sort of opted for the um, the, lo- the longer deal. I thought the security and I think where the club's going, I'm I'm pretty happy where it's all at. And you know, new coach, great vibe around the club. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for the next five years. Tell us about the process, Wayne. When did it start for you? A lot of people like to draw out their contract. Yeah. You've just got it out of the way. When did it start? Ah, uh, probably started pre-season, I think it was. Yeah, so it wasn't it wasn't overly long. It was, um, wasn't wasn't too much fuss about it, and yeah, just sort of get it out of the way and get it done. Um, a pretty simple, pain pain-free process. So the club's going in the right direction, Junior. What have you seen in the pre-season? That's confident that Cos back on track and moving forward. Yeah, I, I just love the vibe at the moment at the club. Um, everyone's up and about. Um, it's been freshened up. Um, yeah, it just just mainly the vibe. The boys are, are flying at the moment. And everyone's loving being here. So how does that help footy wise? Oh, you just love coming in and, and playing footy, like and training. Um, pre-season can be tough at times, but you know it's easy coming in here and and training with the boys all up and about. So. Been good. Did a lot of that come from Nixie. I mean, what was the change? Yeah, well, the change? sort of all round. Um, I guess just a freshen up. Nixie's brought in some new stuff. Um, I guess learning a new game plan. It's that's um, you know it's, it's not the same stuff. So um, you're learning about that. A bit of everything. Yeah. Um, tell us about uh, your recent trip. You took a few <laughs> of the indigenous guys and some other people out. Yeah. And did a bit of fishing and. Yeah. So we went to the. Um, Guyanbar Festival down in Port Port Vic, um, um, Butterfish Comp, as um, the people down there would um, call it. But yeah, it was good to take them down there just to show them a bit of um, sort of stuff that my my people do, and that's an annual thing. So we get down there and, and spearfish. Um, everyone was lucky enough to catch one. They weren't too big, so but um, they're they're good enough for a feed. Any standouts, or who, who was particularly disappointing with the fishing rod or the weapons in hand? Um, no, I can't say anyone. I'm not oh, gonna. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna pin out anyone because everyone got one. So Shana got his late minute. Shana got it. Benny was actually pretty good. So pretty good. Benny reckons he done a bit of spearfish in Sydney. So um, he was pretty good. Yeah, he was pretty good. It was a bit cold, but I think Shana didn't like it at the start. Then he thought he thought he's saying, "I oh, so, um I can't." I can't go back and not catch a fish. So, the last spot we jumped in, he jumped in. He's like, and he reckons saw he reckons he saw four or five of them there when we didn't see many all day. But I don't know. <laughs> he ended up getting one, and he was laughing about it. What about your footy, Where are you going to play this year? You played everywhere in the past. Yeah. What are you looking at in 2020? Yeah, I still um, think I'll play my best footy down back. Um, I think with spurts in the midfield, that's where I'd like to end up. But you know, I'm happy to play down back um, through a wing in the midfield. Um, yeah. It's only pre-season, but uh, can you say what sort of split that looks like? If round one was tomorrow, would you expect to start on a half-back flank? What, what, what do you expect to do, Tom? Yeah, I'm not sure the exact split, but yeah, I'd say I'd start on half-back and, and pinch it in the midfield. Uh, yeah. Do you want to settle? Do you want to settle in one spot because you do get thrown around so much? Um, I think it's important you can play multiple roles. Um, you know, situations happen in game where you, I don't know, someone might pull down and and break a leg, hopefully it doesn't happen, but and you might be needed to play even if you're going forward and playing or need to play on a wing or half back, so yeah, I, you, you need to be able to play everywhere, I guess. You enjoy playing forward, like you're pretty dynamic there late last year, mate. You hit the scoreboard a bit and it, it came natural to you. Yeah, well, I played a bit of footy there as a young kid, so if I'm needed there, but I'd like to play more where I've played my best footy is half back and, and I want to work towards playing in the midfield, so that. That's where my sort of focus is at the moment and helping the team. Yeah. Well, well, is to figure it out. Can, uh, <laughs> uh, did you have anything to do with, it was only here for 10 days, but you well, have anything to do with the Irish bloke? Cahal. Cahal. Yeah, Cahal, yeah, no. Nah, he, he was here for yeah, 10 days. Um, he's a good follower, good follower. Um, but yeah, just it's a big move to come over and, you know, it's a, it's a massive decision to make to come over and <coughs> try something that you're yeah, not don't know at all. Um, but yeah, he was a he was a great bloke. What is he like on the track? Yeah. 
Yeah, it was, it was, it was quick. It was quick. Obviously, coming and learning to kick the footy, it's not, a, it's not an easy thing to do, is it? Like, um, but yeah, he had potential to think, so see what happens. I don't know what the, what the list management or what Hamish has got in store. He might try and have another crack at him soon, but see what happens. Wayne, obviously everything's going well on and off the field. The boys are uh, indicating things are going really well off the field. Yeah. Maybe a potential ring on the finger. <laughs> <laughs> Is that text? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't want to put you on it. <laughs> After you've asked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. Sorry, Wayne. No, all good. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. All right, thank you very much.